As I played through Final Fantasy XIII, I found one word constantly leaping, unbidden from my lips. Why? Why? N no, seriously, Rageaholics, why? Why is this game so bad? Why did it take half a decade to come out? And, given that it took so damn long to be released, why in an old man's herniated scrotum are its graphics not as pretty as other PS3 and 360 games of this generation? I know, that isn't a very impartial or professional perspective to take when supposedly reviewing a game, but fuck it, I'll do what I want. This game fucks you in the ass for free. Well, actually, it fucks you in the ass for 60 goddamn dollars, which is 60 dollars more than one should have to pay for the privilege of an impromptu involuntary ass fucking. Look, it's not exactly confidential information that I'm not a fan of Squeenix's flagship RPG title, but I had actually heard that this game was a departure from past titles, dispensing with the tired, turn-based JRPG trappings of yesteryear, and dare I say, innovating? Well, here's the lone positive comment that I will add with regard to Final Fantasy XIII. It is different from past titles in the series. You see, in past titles in the series, you could give each character in your party specific commands in battle. In past Final Fantasy games, you could actually switch members from your party on the fly. In past Final Fantasy games, the overhead map didn't look like a straight goddamn line. So yeah, Final Fantasy XIII is not only different, it's drastically different from older Final Fantasy games, meaning that it actually defies the laws of both physics and logic by generating an even greater amount of suction than every other stale JRPG in existence combined. Suck. 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 After yawning my way through my 20th tutorial about the utterly pointless paradigm system, I actually found myself waxing nostalgic for Final Fantasy VII or VIII's more straightforward approach. Past titles in the franchise have always differed greatly from one another, but this game changes virtually every single thing about the Final Fantasy games, and that is not a compliment. Well, aside from the weepy, melodramatic, overlong cutscenes every five seconds, those certainly appear as advertised. I fear there's no going without watching Snow and the broad with a silly side ponytail plan their doomed marriage before she ultimately turns into a crystal. I also love how pissed Snow gets about the whole thing. Look, asshole, your girlfriend's a lassie, which means that she has a quest to complete. If she doesn't, she becomes a zombie. If she does, she turns into a fucking rock. You propose to a woman whose brightest prospect was becoming a goddamn mineral, so Stop acting all pissed off about it. That's like standing on the roof of the Sears Tower with a mile-long lightning rod and wearing a suit of lead armor in the middle of a hurricane, then being pissed when you're turned into a slab of barbecue. Fold your damn pole already and go inside, you mopey fuck. When lightning punched that douchebag across the face, my friends and I couldn't cheer loudly enough. At a girl, lightning. Give that beanie-wearing dildo something to really cry about. Not that the game gave a shit. You see, Final Fantasy XIII may be the first video game in history that actively resents the player's presence. You get the feeling that your PS3 is glowering at you from across the room the entire time, just counting down the seconds until it gets to take over and play another five-hour-long cutscene. It even assumes control in battle, that's right, you can control exactly one character in battle, and if that person dies, the game's over, whether there are other characters still standing or not, which wouldn't be such a problem if you were able to tell those other characters to heal your ass, but thanks to the paradigm system, the best you can manage is to offer a vague suggestion to heal every couple seconds. But, but wait, what are all those Phoenix Downs doing cluttering up my inventory, you ask? Why, those are there for the other party members. You see, not only can you not tell your other party members to heal you before you take a dirt nap, you need to constantly be healing your other party members to prevent your own character from taking damage. So, so wait, I'm rewarding the game for playing itself? That's right, Squeenix Tard. Now buy a Final Fantasy necklace. A perfect example of how this bites you in the ass is a battle that I encountered towards the end of the tutorial section of the game. The paradigm system is essentially a roundabout way of telling your party to play either defense or offense. Depending on the attacking power of your enemy, choosing the right paradigm can mean the difference between an easy boss battle or a one-hit death. Here's the snag in that formula, Square Enix. The success of my choices is predicated on nothing but dumb fucking luck. Not strategy, there's no technique I can use to tell me what my opponent's next move is going to be, so it's a complete crapshoot decision that will either result in me surviving another attack or dying in one fucking hit. So, having taken into account now that Final Fantasy XIII's battle system is essentially based around a 50-50 probability of surviving until the next turn, why the shit am I reading in every review that the battle system is the best part of the game? Using the paradigm system to do anything even remotely specific in battle is like trying to corral a room full of autistic ADD retards into painting a perfect recreation of Monet's Garden of Giverny with Crayola markers. 
hers. They might do what you want, or they might be waiting for their attack to recharge, or they might see a shiny thing and run away, or it might not matter because you picked the wrong damn paradigm when the enemy decided to attack, meaning you're staring at a game over screen before you can even issue a command. Guys, let's face it, you don't play Final Fantasy XIII. Final Fantasy XIII plays itself, and you twiddle your thumbs in the corner and pass it a box of tissues when it's finished. The message that Square Enix conveys from the moment you boot up this turd is we know better than you. If you want our story, you have to do things our way. Which was true of past games in the series in a sense, but in Final Fantasy VII, for example, you could at least explore an open world, tracking down rare weapons, flying around in your airship, talking to your characters, breeding your chocobos, etc. At least back then, while you were completely chained to your tiresome linear narrative, Squaresoft went through the trouble of trying to drown out the rattling noises. I mean, guys, I hate Final Fantasy VII like I hate Al-Qaeda, and I'm actually finding myself recommending that the series go back to FF7 style. And if Razor Fist is recommending something to be more like FF7, you know it's fucked. Final Fantasy XIII is on rails. Forget rail shooters. This is the world's first rail RPG. Just check out these overhead maps, guys. The last time I saw this sort of extreme linearity, it was snorted up Lindsay Lohan's nasal passage. Look at that. That isn't linear. That is a straight fucking line. So here we are again at my original question. Why? Let's go down the line and try to answer this disembodied query. Why is this game so terrible? It's terrible because they removed all semblance of interactivity, dropped you into a story without narrative or emotional context, and bombarded you with overlong cutscenes. Why did Square Enix do all of those things? While I'd love to say it's probably because Square Enix are hatching an elaborate plot to topple the world economy by demoralizing the populace with expositional pedantry and candor, it's probably just because Square Enix figured that a more linear approach would serve their story better. Okay, then why did they feel the need to feature the story so prominently? Um, because their characters need to say things. Why does the game need characters that say things? Uh, I think because Square Enix needs something to hang their official licensed Squeenix jewelry off of. Why? Because fanboys will buy anything even vaguely related to the series? So, the truth comes out. It's you. You're the problem, Squeenix fanboys. Well, fuckers, you should be ashamed of yourselves for Final Fantasy XIII because this game is absolutely horrid. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed. <laughs>